Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on substitution with one variable involving multiple operations. Now this is no different to the previous video where we saw substitution except for we might have more than one operation like addition with subtraction or addition with multiplication or squaring with addition etc. But the principle remains the same. We've got some expression and we need to simply substitute each occurrence of our variable or our letter here with whatever the value of that variable is. So here x is worth 3, so we need to replace each of those x's in that expression with 3 to find the overall value of x squared plus 2x. So we just write out the expression again. I'm going to replace each occurrence of x with its value, which is 3. So x is 3 squared plus 2 times 3, because remember 2x means 2 times x. In algebra, when things are next to each other, it means you times them. Now you could write 2 times 3 with a time symbol, but I prefer to avoid using the time symbol. I instead put the 3 there in a bracket. And that's the same as saying 2 times 3, because these things are next to each other, so we multiply them together. So that's 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, which is 9. 2 times 3 is 6, and 9 plus 6 is 15. And I should add that if you're able to skip straight to that step, because you realise, well, 3 squared instantly is 9, 2 times 3 is 6, it just saves you a bit of working and a bit of time. What about this next one? We've got 2y plus 4 squared, and in this question, the value of y is 3, so we need to replace each occurrence of y in the expression with 3. Now, 2y means 2 times y, so I could write 2 times 3, but again, I prefer to write it with a bracket instead. That just means 2 times 3. Now, 2 times 3 is 6, so it's 6 plus 4 squared. 6 plus 4 is 10. And we've got 10 squared, and 10 times 10 is 100. Remember to use bidmus here. So we need to do the content of that bracket here before we do the squared, for example.